Hi guys, Scuffy's First Look here, back with another video. In today's video, we're we'll talking about tomorrow's game at home to Liverpool in the Premier League. So we'll just be covering everything while we preview tomorrow's game. Uh, and that includes a lot, including um, the, uh, co covering everything to know because we've had a COVID outbreak at the club. So just to confirm everything for you. Just please don't watch until the very end and crack straight into it. Um, so we're going to are going to start with the team news and I hope you're all well. So... Antonio Conte has said we're, da we're down to just two positive cases in the squad and those players are likely to be available again in two or three days. So that's good news. Um, Giovanni Lo Celso is also back after injury and Sergio Regular may feature as Antonio said he's ready to train on Saturday. Uh, so good news in team news not regarding COVID and also regarding COVID. Um, when Conte was asked about the COVID-19 um, latest, he said, it's good news because almost all the players are back in training and uh, in the next one, two days, we'll have uh, the, the, a squad totally neg negative, also the staff, and this is very important. So that is good. In the last, he carries on to say, in the last two weeks, we've faced many problems. It wasn't easy, honestly. During the season, there are moments where you have to face problems. You have to solve problems. And we are at the end of our problems with COVID. COVID. I hope in the future, the 50% of the squad that was without COVID continue to be safe. Uh, there was caution in terms of fitness of players returning from COVID-19. Because when you have COVID um, and you and you are 10 days without training with symptoms, then you come back into training. You have to pay attention, said um, Antonio. I, I have professional staff. We are trying to find the best solutions. Um, so basically, just to add to what Conte said, um, you also can suffer um, from COVID uh, in the long term. Um, you know, with taste and smell. So it's not going to be easy for the players, fitness-wise, not doing anything for 10 days and feeling really, really ill. Um, asked, asked how difficult the last 9 or 10 days have been. He added, it's been very difficult, especially because we didn't play our last game. Um, we didn't play our, our recently any last any of our last, you know, like two or three games. Uh, the last game we played was uh, two weeks ago. It's a long time now. And it's important to play, especially for me. I was in charge... Um, during the season and after after one month to stop the training sessions and to train the whole squad wasn't so easy we need to solve the problems and find a solution not not complain and now we we start again and work together that was some of our antonio conte's quotes from um his interview yesterday um his pretty much um interview so if you, if you want to find out anything else just go and watch antonio's uh, press conference um which you can see on YouTube, so that is um, the team news. So there's good news regarding, you know, obviously the COVID um, situation and you know the team news. That's perfect. Now going into how to watch, uh, already covered some of it. So you know it's Sunday and it's a 4:30 kickoff. Coverage starts at 4 p.m. and it's on Sky Sports main event. I repeat, Sky Sports main event, 4:30 kickoff. Uh, coverage starts at 4 o'clock. A Sunday evening treat for you, but it won't be easy for us fitness levels wise coming back from the COVID outbreak and it's not going to be easy against Liverpool anyway. Um, so it may be just a case of damage li limitation for us. But if we do get a chance, because uh, Virgil van Dijk is out with suspected COVID. So if that's true, it does give me a bit of hope um, that we may be able to cause some problems. But I do not expect us to get any kind of result out of it. A point will be amazing and be taken. Um, now going into my predicted... Um, predicted score because obviously I can't predict my predicted lineup yet because I'm not sure what players have come back from COVID and what players are still off but I will in my next video that's a promise for you guys regarding there's no positive any more um, large amount of positive cases I can get back into the predicted lineup but I'm going to pre predict my predicted score um, I think it'd be a very very tough game for Liverpool but I, might, I think we've managed to grind out a nil nil draw as you can see on the screen now at home a nil nil draw let me know your predicted score in the comments below in this video for a chance of a shout out and ter but terms and conditions uh, do apply and those terms and conditions are you have to submit your predicted score in the comments below in no other video if you submit it in any other video but this it will not be counted and you also have to submit it before uh, Sunday evening, so it's tomorrow evening, uh, for, before the ball kicks off at 4.30, in this video below, and you have a chance of shout out if you guess it right. If you don't, just a bit of fun, really. So thank you. Um, finally, going into the travel update, if you're travelling to Spurs versus Liverpool. 
For fans attending our Premier League match at home against Liverpool on Sunday, which is a kick-off 4.30pm, are asked to take note of the following travel information. Following the government's implementation of its COVID-19 autumn and winter plan B, new protocols are in place for match attending fans. Supporters are strongly encouraged to familiarise themselves with, with their new protocols, which you can read on the Spurs official app, um, and plan their journey to arrive and enter the stadium early. We recommend supporters familiarise themselves with the latest government guidance on staying safe or using public transport, including face coverings and social distances where, where possible, uh, which can be found um, on the government uh, website. Um, now, stations, what, starting with White Hart Lane. Four eight-carriage London overground trains per hour will operate in each direction throughout the day. Supporters travelling to Liverpool Street post-match are reminded that Northumberland Park services have twice the capacity of those from White Hart Lane. Supporters are advised to check for train cancellations before attempting to travel pre and post-match. Double check now. Pause this video and double check. White Hart Lane is a fully accessible station. Northumberland Park. Supporters are advised to use Northumberland Park if using Greater Angular services as it's a shorter distance to the stadium than Tottenham Hale. Uh, trains from Central London will depart from Stratford or Liverpool Street with four trains per hour operating uh, from and to Stratford. Uh, reduction in the number of available platforms at Liverpool Street have reduced some services uh, with between two and four trains per hour operating uh, from and to to Liverpool Street, supporters are advised to check uh, train times before departing. Uh, southbound Stansted Express trains will operate at 30, 30 minutes intervals from Northumberland Park to Liverpool Street post-match. Now Tottenham Hale, in addition to services which also call out Northumberland Park, Stansted Express services will operate uh, two trains per hour in both directions, pre and post-match at Tottenham Hale. All train services are shown on www.nationalrail.co.uk, so double check now. There is currently no lift service at Tottenham Hale London Underground Station. Supporters requiring lift access are advised to leave the Victoria Line at Finchbury Park and take either the W3 bus from the Wells Terrace bus station or the higher frequency 259 service from Seven Sisters Road. I've reminded you of this before. Now Seven Sisters Victoria Line services will be operating every three minutes on average to Seven Sisters in both directions pre and post match. Queue management. Queue management systems will be in place at all stations. Supporters are asked to respect and work with staff at our stations. TfL buses. Prior uh, to the match, uh, the W3 will follow its normal route, but the 259 will be diverted away from the high road two hours before the game. Supporters are advised to check for delays due to roadworks before travelling. Post-match, the W3 and 259 services will return to normal operation as soon as possible after lo the local road closures are lifted, obviously on the Tottenham High Road. Uh, more information on road closures can be found um, below on the Spurs official app. Cycling. For supporters wishing to cycle to the, uh, to the stadium, bike stands are available at Tottenham. Tottenham Community Sports Centre and St Francis D South School, both located on the high, high road. Bicycle parking is also available on street around the stadium. Although our bag policy still applies, stewards will be briefed, uh, reminding cyclists need to carry helmets, puncture kits and removable seats um, into the stadium. Shuttle buses. The club is operating its uh, two shuttle buses services from both Alexander Palace stations, Great Great Northern Line, and Wood uh, Green Station, which is a Piccadilly line to the stadium. Road closures. Please note our major event day road closures measures will be in place, uh, which will be on the Tottenham High Road. Um, so that is it. All the travel information. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, it's on the screen now. Please don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you're new because we do pre, post and confirm lineup videos on this channel. So wherever you want team news, uh, you want to know my predicted lineup or you want to put your predicted lineup, my predicted score, your predicted lineup, uh, travel uh, information, important information or wherever it's confirmed lineups, uh, player ratings, uh, predicted score uh, or just general post match, you know how we play. You have everything covered. Um, to do with Spurs when they play with this channel. So please subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys. As I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope we get um, a point or at least against Liverpool because it's going to be a very difficult game. One coming back from COVID and two facing um, Liverpool. Um, 
a very good team. They're title contenders again this season. Uh, they're a different standard to us. And as I said, don't be disappointed if it is a game with damage limitation, not just because of COVID, as I said, because of the opposition side of Liverpool. Uh, don't get too carried away in saying we, you know, um, it's a top four clash. It's two completely different teams with different ambitions. One competes for the title and one considering to be lucky to finish in the top four, uh, realistically in the top five. Um, so be patient and support the team and you just never know miracles will happen and I see you for Sunday night in post match reaction video hopefully I have a smile on my face thank you guys and as always come on you Spurs